Are you struggling to come up with keyword ideas for your next YouTube video? No. Don't stress. It's easier than you think. So let's get ready and take a look. Here we are deep inside Google Display Planner is the tool you want to be trying out. First of all, you have to get yourself an AdWords account. All right, the first thing you have to do is go to Google AdWords, that is adwords.google.com. And if you have a Gmail account, then you can sign in using that Gmail account. Otherwise, you'll need to create one first. And then you can sign in here at the top right. And then Google will try to force you to start a campaign. You can do that or you might need to start and stop one and give your credit card, but you don't need to spend any money. Depending on the situation Google has you in, you might need to try that out. But once you've got that set up, you then go to Tools and Display Planner. So what's this tool good for? Well, basically, once you've typed in an idea, a general idea you have, it can be one, two, three words, Google will give you some other suggestions based on those words to give you ideas for your next YouTube video. So how do we go about using this? Well, first you go to Tools on the top, and then you jump down here to Display Planner. And it looks pretty ugly to start with. <laughs> but don't worry about that, it gets a lot sexier. So you open up this bar here, just click on that bad boy, and then type in your idea. I typed in dog walking or something like that. This seems to be a topic that I'm obsessed with, with my uh, latest keyword course I was doing dog brushes. So let's forget about that. But the one thing you want to do here is change this filter. Because by default, video is not included. Everything else well, except Flash, but let's face it, Flash is dead. So what we want to do here is select none, this little blue link, and then click video. What that's going to do is that's going to give us all the data for showing ads on videos, which is where we're going to get our keywords from. So we're using an ad tool here, but that's cool. It gives us really cool data. So once you've changed to video, click on the big blue button and then Google will run off and get us some data. There's a couple of views that you want to look at in here to get the information you're after. The first one is the ad group ideas, and the second one is the individual targeting ideas. And they're the two tabs here under the graphs on the top. You can also take a look around all the other tabs and buttons if you want, but I'm not going to go into them here. I'll leave that up to you guys. But there's a lot of demographics data, topic data, a lot of stuff that's not necessarily as interesting as just finding the keywords, and I'm going to keep this simple. So dog walking, back to the topic. So let's click on the individual ideas that lists them out directly in terms of relevance. And then on the far right hand side, you'll get the number of impressions that Google is seeing per week. Hmm. Just a small note here. I seem to have cut the video off and you can't see those numbers. But trust me, whoop, down in that corner normally is a row of data showing the number of impressions. So that's more or less the number of times that your video may get shown on YouTube for this particular term. So it gives you really a good indication of the potential for ads to be shown on those videos, which really in turn gives us the information we're after. So we're really looking for how much we can get our YouTube video displayed. So these ideas are really, really good. But they're listed, so it's a bit of a pain. So how do we get around that? Well, you can sort them by CPC or by relevance or by impressions. But an easier way to find ideas is to jump into the ad groups ideas. And then Google has done us a favor. Thanks, Google. Basically, they've grouped all of the words into topics for us. So you can start to see the kinds of topics and subtopics that are appearing in search on YouTube that could be relevant to your channel. And then you can click on those individual ones. For example, small dogs. Let's have a look at small dogs. We can see a couple of words there for a small dog. Small dog daycare. Maybe you want to talk about your local dog daycare. I don't. Maybe you do. So there you go. And you can basically 
drill in and change on the left here and also on the first, first page we were on. You can change to country, language, and a bunch of other settings. So if you're targeting specific locations or languages, you can fine tune the search to give you that information. But for now, we've just done a general search on the United States. So how cool is that? Giving in an idea, you get thousands of more ideas for your next year's worth of YouTube video. So sign up for Google AdWords. If you've got a Gmail, use the Gmail you've got and give this bad boy a try and find some keywords for your next YouTube video. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you've got some other tools that you've tried out and found really helpful for YouTube, leave a comment below. Otherwise, don't forget the subscribe button. Subscribe, press the big red button, and you'll get the latest videos when they come out. I'm hoping to get them out every week, although sometimes I may fail, then you can just slap me. Otherwise, hope to see you next time, and thanks for watching.